combustible complex. And uh, if you can visualize the edge of the Milky Way and the solar system is hovering at the edge, and which the Chio Kaku calls the Golden Rock. So it is very familiar to about this present time, but there are strange plenitudes within the system. One of them is our neighbor, Mars. Water over Mars. The water and the voltage of rocks, of algic suns in transition, flying across the scape of bitter Martian rocks. Moving boulders by abandoned fossil premonition, the poles quaking, the sun misjudged through my aperture prison. My oceans be existent and trembling as a soil inside iridium constellations. Like invisible glacial misnomers, like dark magnetic rivers strange and totemic with current. Where proto jaguars advance, where lichen de exist, where the cells blaze at the cusp of the public pheromone. Having evolved from space by perfect first falling like an indigo amniotic, burrowing like a blank encrypted gravitas, as wandering ammonia, as floating protoquanta, obscuring my own deafness where the winds howl, where the soil maladjusts to my thinking. It is a hundred million years before my coming. I use no exterior crafting to withstand me, to no nautical monology to sculpt my various geometries, to claim and disclaim my pointless hydrogen consumers. I remain the greenish sonar heron, the combustible yeast, the exhausted locust tail, the enzyme with the force of hydrated complication. Itinerate the visitation, my voice seeming to spin from the great Quetzal Palace in space, like diamonds falling from a fabulum of cypress, like a river of moons flowing over slate. I who extract from my powers a blizzard of orbits, I who know from my powers a portion ninety times nine a billion times over. Of course, this is grace by sumptuous hesitation, by delimited decimals as impetition, of ferocious power imploded by displacement, by seeding hydrogen as osmosis. I fall by terrible quickening in darkness, creating an unstable balance as weather, as dissonant inner functioning as power. At three-quarter cycle, I regress to implosion so as to ignite each shift through ascensional quandary, so that levels shift and return through exponential draft, through meteoritic harvest, seeming to probe by insatiable regression, by limitless rudiment, by uh, stunning pluvial osmosis. Water as sigil as carnivorous land fields gone blind. This is new Mars. Its mountain heights blackened like the doubled scene of Olympus Mons with its sinister scars, with its deflected rays from Phobos. New Mars, a smaller or faultless deafness, alive through ghostly silhouette, through kinetic margin as dissension. I exist as its rigor, not quite riddled, not quite seismic, being gnomic, being neural innuendo, as polar argon as ascendant. All of the above a phantom botany empowered by a curious technical whiff. In this botany transmuted above the separable waters, above the patterns which foment the planet as not just exhibit, this is the density in which I scatter and de-reveal my own essence as other than bipedal, as other than a sternum with warped occipital range. I am present with the speed of a strange electrical horse, with the vertical force of, its, of a transmundane stampede, so that I form in this 
range of sound with the land of New Mars as exploration of blankness. A blankness which burns and extends and accelerates and goes beyond a toneless pause as it's counting. This separable glyph as purely ocular law which vibrates as ratio pouring over sand. I am the presence of water on new Mars, not the Mars of observation with its regimented molecules, but the Mars co-tested by a powerful telepathy. I have arrived on new Mars before the sun was gathered as carbon, before its moons were reduced to abstemious laterality. My motion splinted suns as telepathy with my polar magnetics blue, my intergalactic gullies incessant prior to planes where my presence pre-existed as baffling cellular symbol, as Akashic, cuneiform, and carbon. On new Mars, the sun will double rise on two planes, will flash in the northern embers, will dispel on the southern grounds the pale light blue with its carnivorous torrent, with its double moons as phobos by molecules, as demos by articulate cipher. On phobos, I am blizzard as gene. I am transmuted grain. Moons which live like Sedna or Pluto, self-heated like dwarfs. I remain on New Mars as a great lenticular hail, as a pluperfect hail divided and subdominant without visage, knowing the ferocious axial canyons, knowing the brutish dust of their darkness, with their surface obscured with transrendered cinders. This being my proto-water as it flowed a billion years ago, as rills, as forms of predestined amphibics, I as water, which exists as centripetal centigrade, as strange philosophical hydraulics, not as frayed or osteological disadvantage, as astropaleontology, as spores which fall from the plasma of space, as aesthetic photon orchids, as utopian jaguar contagions, as if my rainbows were understood as photonic desecration, or shapeless fumatory plankton akin to a whirlwind of fallen starfish from heaven. And perhaps on Earth, I'd be transfixed to the fact of a competitive creature, perhaps a falcon, a lion, a crocodile, and a whale, a fertilizing prana, a foregrounded analogy having throughout my duration a foreknowledge of Harmonian astral lakes, of supernatural green isles, knowing that purity compresses as primal nobility, that its waters blaze as instantaneous nomadics. Again, I stress presence as imperfect lunar cryptography, as point beyond resistance, as dialectical self-waning. I weave from the mist surrounding Phobos, vibratic echoes beyond Saturn, knowing the purification beyond spoils, beyond the memoir of entropy, becoming a great triangular neon sail, or an astral frigate, or on Mayan bark as the Kune, flying with Neptunian cormorants with composite snow forms as wasps, as presence, I am of compound feeding, being sonar in fabulous solar nurseries where hidden suns transpose from my presence. I create an animate visual ether where light evolves, where blazing takes form as a proto-proton emission. Perhaps I am water on New Mars in a strange Acanthus Canyon where infinity is scattered as reversed ascensional trailings. Knowing ice winds that gather at the various poles, perhaps Rhea or Europa, knowing the central pole, the 
auric pole which fleets his quantum flame beyond the asteroids. Thus I'm water as alternate nitrogen sand as scorched and shifting profundity. I am other in a spinning neutron bay being mirage and elusive with blinding. On new Mars, I am transmogrification. I'm hypnos. I'm buried spell in iridium. Being fumatory soil in the Guido is divinatory ashes from the sea. Disjunctive nitrogen with its waves compressed and black like cold imaginary scrawling, fulminant with a kind of ether as fish, igniting the ghost of cells as an epic. No pre-preparation, no rational or balanced criteria. On earth, I am the crystal bird as ointment, listening to itself according to dictates scattered across the nebula, further back in time than the Permian or Ordovician. Perhaps I am the current with the transmuted cells with the riveted ocular thirst non-aligned to magnification to listless and dominating lateral equilibria. Because in the lesser scale of dimension, new Mars, new Mars remains as Siena with two imploded moons circling with utmost vacuum as thunder. This double Mars focused on strabismus as purified eclectics. All of it being the sulfur which roams in the Columbia Hills, the plateaus like a glyph of wayward trilobites, which waver, which waver and waver again like the pull from irregular errata. My presence being that primordial mineral flaring, that calligraphy which in scars and pauses and flames, a tumultuous scarring like a quake from tumultuous kelvins where the moons coalesce in waves like burned or eclipsed volcanoes. Such is the cause of indefinite ruination by ferment, by withdrawal, where suns collapse and renew and continue to de-exist. These being the figments where fauna commences. Water being a quaking oral infinity, being a porous crystal in the flat lines, or an isometric crag in the Andes. This being Earth and Mars. This being new Mars. This being Mars as new being. Totemic with abstract pomp and powder. And so your savagery, under power of perpetual connivance, blinding with censure, with rude fascistic bottle brush criteria, which keeps the subconscious ingrown, the angelic dharma darkened. Your red hair curling like voluptuous cobras under fire, like tungsten candles, like flares and chemical Bedouin rubies. Every savage green dawn, your screaming gecko bracelets, as if you had sundered whales with your steps. As if, under the thorns of the moon, you had 
sent up a plastic of cherries, those emerald mongoose auras, those living stochastic bandworms seeking to cover provincial spillage from their navel. As if under the heated whip of day I would switch your voltage to too perfect intrigue, to a deeply rolling mascara, to hot Babylonian salamander gardens, watching you amble through greenish sodium flames making molten rise and fall, turning the far from pulse into vapor. In the psychic trail of law, my jealousy generates your population with tigers, because one can never measure the dangerous impact of your skull on fire with penultimate transparency. I witness your chunks of flesh as well as turning time carpets and hair, tossing back pressure of stingrays, the disdainful panic feeds in bleak omega laundries. Your moonless hormones lava like darkened signals, like glazed tornado herrings, like blank bikini detective. From tragic table to skin, I think you're going to walk me top of work with tense Cambodian genius, always implying media rights and osmosis. Always cooking in your nostril a wayward blend of hot volcanoes and selvas. Changes, changes, unexpected changes in the eleventh hour round about midnight. Changes, one to five flat nine after hours. Changes, change your history, change your name, change your neighborhood, change your god, change your girlfriend, exchange sex, change your clothes, go for a swim in a lake on the far side of Miranda. Listen to a panda bear talking to a panda about changes in which they share an early exit from evolution. Changes, change into a new being, a molecular change. Like the range of octaves in Eric Dolphy's bass clarinet. Change your face. Change, wear a smile. Be glad to be unhappy. Unhappy changes the color of the room, shifting over the asphalt, changing the direction of rush hour of traffic, the 11th hour, changing lanes, finding the rude ones that flow towards the South Street exits where the changes are quite unexpected, calling for a sense of spontaneity. Change your attitude. Change your altitude. Consider perhaps you can fly if you you change the axis, change the direction of the equator like a volcano hungry for, for the icy coldness of crystal formations. Change the diamonds, sleeping and dreaming inside meteors, chipped from the proton belts of Uranus. Change, small change in a world where nothing counts up or adds to anything anyway. So why not change, 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 unexpected change? <laughs> 